guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I am architect Vibhu V and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. Okay, so from the thumbnail you might have seen that we are going to be discussing about 3D kit modeling question. So this is the new type of question that they have been asking from the last year. Uh, so many of you had doubts about this questions. How to make composition, um, what kind of questions that they are asking, uh, what type of stuff that you will get at the time of the examination to solve this type of question. So we will be answering all of the doubts in today's video. Also at the end of the video you will see two of the composition that I will make for you and we will learn together how to make this 3D composition. In this video we are going to be discussing about the compositions as well. So please stay till the very end, do not skip the video, okay? And having said all of it, now let's just start with today's video. So let's start with the PPT now. As you can see in the part 1 we have 3 questions. So the third question is 3D composition. Let's just start and discuss about 3D composition and how uh, the questions are being asked. Here you can see on the screen we have foam sheet, base, uh, then the glue and then 3D shapes. So basically you will get this foam sheet base uh, along with these shapes and glue and according to the question that you are being asked you have to make composition using this 3. Okay. So these are the kit that you are going to get. And now let's just discuss about the basic 3D shapes, okay? Now discussing about 3D shapes, basically you are going to get basic 3D shapes like square prism, triangular prism, then cylinder, uh, then square pyramid, circular cone, cube, etc. So these are the basic shapes that you will get. Frame, you can get lines. Uh, so you have to make composition out of it. Now how will you make composition if you don't know? principle of design so for that you really need to understand the principle of designs and the composition patterns so let's just start with now uh, your basic principle of design now discussing about principle of designs first one being balance we have again two symmetrical and asymmetrical then coming to the unity and variety we have unity same color but different sizes then unity uh, and uh, discussing about variety here we have same sizes but different colors okay then discussing about emphasis emphasis is what basically a highlighting element so whatever red portion that you can see here is highlighting so that is emphasis on any object then discussing about rhythm we have flowing regular rhythm there are different types of rhythm repetition okay then contrast you have contrast in shapes or contrast in colors okay then we have contrast in scale from thick to thin then we have uh, contrast in layout like this is totally symmetrical this is totally random then we have here repetition okay repetition of lines then hierarchy now that you have learnt about principle of design and basic 3d shapes how will you create composition so for that you need to really understand about methods of composition and how can you create a creative unique composition. So you can see on the screen we have different methods to create composition like rule of thirds, then grid pattern, then diagonal, radial, L arrangement, circular, pyramidal, uh, V arrangement, cross, focal mass. There are n number of methods to create composition. Okay, You have to basically understand which type of principle of design can go with this composition okay so accordingly you have to use particular composition for particular design principle now discussing about questions that were asked in previous year first question was place 3d shapes according to order you might have given some of the shapes and then you have to uh, place it according to order okay then compose forms and show equilibrium then arrange blocks in asymmetric balance Compose given blocks to create a movement. Create 3D composition using objects and show unity. Then place 3D block to make pattern. Arrange the foam objects to create contrast. 8 being through the given shape show progression of flow, principle of continuity. Create an interesting shape sculpture using 3D shapes of sport gear found in cricket. At least 3 objects from cricket kit. Then 10th question being create a sense of emphasis using 5 cubes and cylinder. So let me just take you through 
one or two of the compositions now you can see here on the screen we have different shapes that i have made for you uh, i know they are not perfect but i just wanted to show you how uh, basically you can create the objects and compositions using these so for practice you can also get this uh, oasis sheet that you get in stationery and you can really make this basic shapes at home uh, to practice the 3d kit question so here i have made some frames the cubes rectangular prism then these lines then cylinders then uh, spheres cone uh, square pyramids and then we have hexagon now for the first question i am taking this square uh, rectangular prisms then again we have rectangular prisms uh, then we have cubes and then we have you know uh, the frames with us so i am literally arranging and um, figuring out how the composition will look good okay so now uh, as you can see i am trying and figuring out where i can keep these uh, prisms or rectangular box okay so wherever i am feeling that yeah it is looking symmetrical i am placing there it just trial and error but you can just uh, learn for yourself and it is a great practice for architecture as well so why not to try this okay then now i am keeping this uh, two frames over here and now when i am making this i am realizing it is starting to look like a robot so you can see it is having a symmetry but it is making a pattern as well now this is the example for asymmetrical balance so here i have got six cubes and two square pyramids okay so i am trying to again figure out how do i keep these um, objects so here i am placing uh, like this the one portion is done and for the other portion i am going to be keeping the cubes diagonally so yet there is a symmetry but uh, because of the cube placement it is asymmetrical now discussing about emphasis as you can see here i am taking five cubes okay and then we have one cylinder now i am going to be placing them in the order that it create emphasis um for the cylindrical part so you can see here i am keeping uh, this basic pattern okay and basic pattern of cube and then suddenly if you see one uh, cylinder that is highlighting much more so that is basically what emphasis then for the second part of emphasis it is just a uh, it's just a basic drawing that you make and then in the center i am going to be placing that cylinder to let it emphasis okay so you can see here now it is highlighting max so that is when you know it is nothing but emphasis okay and yes with that we have discussed about today's topic do let me know which more topics you want me to cover hope you are finding the videos helpful and if you do you know the drill please like comment share do not forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next video till then please take care and bye